Hi, and welcome to Construction Update. This is a rundown of the 10 most read stories in the construction industry this week. I'm Larry Stewart with 4 Construction Pros. And I'm Alexis Brown with Rental Magazine. Let's start with number 10. Miller Formless acquired MBW C101 and CG200 slip form paver models, joining the company's six other products capable of installing concrete, curb and gutter, and barrier walls. And at number nine, Maida mini cranes helped combat wildfires in Northern California. These mini cranes were in the field helping with maintenance on firefighting helicopters, helping them maximize their critical emission work. And with number eight, the ultimate challenge is developing disciplined, results-oriented, accountable, and responsible managers and employees. These five tips can help make sure you do just that. Yeah, you can't make every decision yourself. Good good work there. Number seven is four ways to get the most done with the fewest machines. Now, Caterpillar's senior market professional, Lonnie Fritz, offers some insights here on how to ease into machines that are going to be more versatile and more productive for your company. And with number six, we have the AEM survey, which asks contractors questions related to workforce furloughs and layoffs and found that way fewer construction firms laid off workers than other industries. Yeah, it's nice to see the Association of Equipment Manufacturers bring in their resources to help us understand what's going on in this uh, this pandemic time. Number five, you know, the CAT trial, a Pac-Man video that they put together, really interesting and fun video, keeps getting lots of attention. There's a lot of buzz going on in social media about what's happening there. And, and here was the chance I got to talk to a couple of dedicated Pac-Man nerds who work for Caterpillar in their media department about how they brought that iconic video game to life in this skid steer loader scale video game. Who doesn't love Pac-Man? That is just a classic. So number four, the concrete industry keeps progressing. And this article details innovations such as concrete from recycled materials, rapid drying concrete, and light transmitting concrete. Yeah, light transmitting concrete. What about that? I'm kind of, kind of interested in that myself. Um, it's like Star Trek or something. Right. <laughs> Counting down to number three, the Portland Cement Association is forecasting reduced consumption through the end of the year and a slightly smaller drop in 2021 with key non-residential construction sectors providing the greatest drag. Find out how significant federal support could be to the shape of the construction economy next year in this story. And number two. The use of EPS geofoams has emerged as a key trend contributing to more sustainability and efficiency in the construction world as it's a more stable, easier to install fill. Yeah, interesting there that, that polystyrene foam could be more stable than, than gravel or things that we're <laughs> naturally using. I, 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 th I find that fascinating. Number one, proving once again that the Paycheck Protection Loan Program really did penetrate deeply into the construction industry. You know, this story is about how PPP loans can challenge revenue growth for state DOT contractors. The federal acquisition regulations say any credit related to an allowable cost received by a contractor should be credited by the contract they're currently working on. Government agencies may be able to take that position and apply it to forgiven PPP loans, which would require a credit to overhead. This story will help you find out how and when this provision might affect the rates that you can, can estimate with. And those are the, uh, the top 10 stories of the week in the construction industry. Thanks for joining us, and I uh, hope you have a great weekend. Bye now.